Hi, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can remove various clicks in Adobe Audition. And I've already pre-made this recording as, and as you can see, there's a, a mouth click right here. So there are a couple of ways you can go about it. The first one, if you see a, a click like this one, somewhere in between you speaking, what I like to do is just manually select it and then click delete button and it's deleted. However, Adobe Audition has this tool and you can find it in effects, noise reduction, and it's called automatic click remover. So what it does, it automatically detects clicks and removes them. It has two main settings. Threshold and complexity. Threshold is the sensitivity of the effect. The lower the threshold, the more sensitive it is and the more clicks it will find. Although if you set it super low, it might find some false positive clicks. You set it too high and it may miss some of them. Complexity determines how harsh or like how determined it is to remove the click. You set it too low and it may find the click, but it may not completely remove it you set it too high and it may fully remove the click but it would come at the cost of reducing your audio quality slightly and it has these four different settings and you can play around it uh, with it yourself but generally I like to use it in two different ways and I went through the trouble of trying all, all of these settings so uh, what i did is i made various different clicks so we have mouse clicks mouth clicks keyboard clicks and finger clicks here and i figured that this tool is not particularly good at removing mouse clicks keyboard clicks or finger finger clicks it may diminish them a bit like it may attenuate them a bit but it's not really good at it but it was good at removing mouth clicks so if you were to look at the these um, mouth clicks right here out of these four major ones this one is the most realistic one and when i applied default settings it did remove it and the same with the heavy settings obviously and uh, the only settings that didn't do anything were the, the light settings so I think default settings is kind of the sweet spot and then heavy settings, I would only apply it if I wanted to meticulously remove every click in my audio recording. And in that case, um, I would find every click and then I would just select that particular spot and then I would go to effect and apply the the um, heavy reduction settings otherwise i think the easiest way to deal with this effect is just select your whole audio recording and apply the default settings uh, it is going to find and remove a lot of the uh, mouth clicks you've made although if you have any keyboard clicks or something like that it's probably not going to be great at removing those maybe just going to diminish them a bit but generally you would have to avoid doing keyboard clicks because it's not going to be great at that. So I hope this video helps to you to clean up your audio a bit.